Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I swear as soon as I said that a fly just rose from the ashes. I know I sound crazy when I say that there is a fly in here every time I film, but there is. I, I, I do my makeup in here every morning and I never see a fly, but as soon as I press record, it's like, hey. But anyway, as I was saying, today I am going to be reviewing the new L'Oreal True Match Plumping Tinted Serum. Now, I feel like this was a very hyped release. It was on my social media world anyway, and I absolutely love the original L'Oreal True Match Foundation, so I was very excited to try this one. First up, let's get into some of the details and the claims. So it comes with 30 ml of product, and it retails for a whopping $39.95. Excuse me? Huh? Like that? is expensive. The original True Match is also 30 mils and it retails for $29.95, which is quite up there for drugstore prices. Even in Australia, like $30 is, you know, it's pretty high. L'Oreal's always a bit more expensive, but $40? Anyway, I ended up grabbing it when it was on sale anyway, because there was no way I was paying full price. But what makes this different from the original True Match is that it contains hyaluronic acid. So this one is said to be more of a serum. It's meant to do better things for your skin. It actually claims on the website that it smooths skin over time. It says that it's hydrating and it has a radiant finish. Now I've got some thoughts about this one. So let's zoom it in, I'll apply it and we can talk through it. So the serum comes in nine shades and what they've done is combined them. So I have the lightest one here which is 0.5 to 2, very light. In the original True Match, I have the shade 0.5N Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. And what I like about this is, first of all, the range is huge. I think there's about 40 shades and they come with different undertones. So this, as I said, is the lightest and it has a neutral undertone. Whereas because the serum is blended, you can't choose your specific undertone. As you can see, the packaging has a dropper style applicator instead of a pump. And I get it because they're going for like that serum vibe, like skincare, makeup kind of cross. But this is the most messy, annoying foundation lid that I have come across. So you can see all the foundation that has dried around the lid and gone crusty. The dropper, it doesn't like suck up enough product. And then when I'm dropping it out, it's like splattering and it's just, I gotta keep going in. Like you don't know how much you're using. I just, just put a pop on it. Like I get it, but I don't like it. So here we have 0.5N porcelain in the foundation and the lighter shade in the serum. So this does have more of a cool undertone. It's a little deeper. It's actually like, a touch too deep for me. And I'm hoping that you can see from these swatches the difference in the coverage. This one is a little more sheer compared to the foundation. Now I don't have anything else on my skin, like I've done my morning skincare, put on moisturizer, but I don't have any other primers on. That way you can see the true like finish and texture and coverage of the foundation. So this side is with and this side is without. As you can see, it is a very light coverage. It's kind of just your skin, but better. I really do like the finish of it. You can see how hydrating it looks. I've got quite a nice glow. I usually like a little bit more coverage though. So I have tried building it up and it does build up, but it feels heavy on the skin once it does. Now I've pretty much used all of that first pump or dropper, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to put another one on my palette. All right, so this is what it looks like fully applied. As you can see, my skin just looks healthy and glowy. I feel like it looks good from a distance, but when we get up close, <laughs> 
it's still looking nice and glowy like look at that when I turn my head it's beautiful I have built it up that little bit and this is what I mean by like it starts to look heavy I feel as though around my nose even on my cheek a bit here it just sits on my skin funny it doesn't look as smooth it's hydrating but at the same time it looks dry I feel like my chin especially like it's a little bit clingy all right, I finished my makeup. I did film most of this, so I will link that video down below. But this is what I wanna show you about the foundation looking heavy. So I only applied a little bit of powder under my eyes, on my nose, and like around my mouth. And around my nose, it just looks so heavy. So just around this section here, and even the tip of my nose, it just, I'm not liking it. I feel like once I put my full face of makeup on and I'm going in with light makeup <laughs> Okay, for me, I used a cream bronzer, a cream blush, only a little bit of powder and see how it still looks like heavy full glam when this is meant to be a lightweight like tinted kind of product. When it was by itself it looked like that but as soon as you put things on top it just doesn't. And I've tried this several times. I've used several different products. I've attempted to get that natural look with it. And as soon as I put um, powder on top, it just like, it's done. So if I had to pick between the serum and the foundation, I would absolutely just go for the foundation. I feel like you have better options with shades because You've got that really big range. They're not blended together. When it comes to the consistency, I feel like you can still really get a light coverage, lightweight feel from the True Match foundation. Because when I swatch them on my hands, like the serum looks a lot more sheer, but I don't like the way it sits on my face. Whereas with the foundation, if I only go in with one pump, I'm still getting a light coverage, but it sits better on my skin. I don't know what it is. The foundation is also $10 cheaper and I find that that formula lasts longer on my skin as well and I'm not getting the heavy look from it. Like when I put powder on top, it just looks like it looks fine. No complaints whatsoever. So overall, I think if you don't put a lot of makeup on top, like if you just want a foundation then maybe this product will be good for you but if you're like me and you like to put on bronzer blush highlighter powder then just go for the foundation because as I said you can use one pump and you're getting a similar finish but it's got a lot more like it just it works better it just works better full stop <laughs> all right well that is all for today's review if you have any questions just leave me a comment down below if you've tried this product out I would love to hear your thoughts and especially if you've tried both let me know what you think of the differences between the two if you're new to my channel I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing and if you want to see more foundation reviews from me I have an entire playlist I'll link it down below and I do have a individual review on the true match foundation as well all right well I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.